even with bandages on them, Ray Bing Tsun's fingers dance across the piano keys. From light, soft notes to pounding forte ones, his music echoes in the ears. Tsun was born in Taiwan. When he was just 13 years old, he moved to Austria alone after he became the youngest student ever accepted by the prestigious Vienna Conservatory. He won a total of 18 medals in various international piano competitions, including five gold medals before reaching 20 years of age. However, becoming an internationally acclaimed pianist came with a price. I didn't in the 1980s, Taiwanese musicians did not have much international visibility or much support from home. In fact, being from Taiwan brought its own challenges. Sun made a name for himself while overcoming decades of challenges. And now he's back in Taiwan to perform two recitals. For the shows, he chose the works of composers Eric Korngold and Zhang Wenye, who also left their hometowns to pursue their dreams. Sun feels a deep connection with these two composers and is happy to share a common language with them, music. He hopes that through music, he can help build bridges between Eastern and Western cultures. Uh, Zhang Wenye was a Taiwanese composer who was active mainly in Japan. He often took inspiration for his works from the scenery and culture of his homeland of Taiwan. Eric Korngold was an Austrian-born Jewish-American and one of the most influential composers in Hollywood history. Ray Bing Tsun's repertoire combines Korngold and Zhang's work, bringing the audience different styles of composition, all full of wonder. But that's not his only goal with his music. Music is a universal language, and Sun's mastery of it means that his audience is sure to get the message. Kama Xu, Maggie May, and Eric Gao for Taiwan Plus.